Doug, good morning. Yes, cases have been climbing here in Massachusetts, and that is just one reason why state leaders will want to see what this new administration will do. Later today, President-elect Biden is expected to name a COVID-19 advisory board made up of leading scientists and experts. Mr. Biden and Vice President-elect Kamala Harris will receive a briefing from that group this morning, focused not just on the pandemic itself, but also on the economic recovery. He's then expected to deliver remarks on his plan to the nation. All of this comes as President Trump steps up his legal fight against the election results. He's expect, expected to file a lawsuit targeting the Pennsylvania count today. Experts say if a transition between the current leader and the next one does not take place in a traditional way, there could be ramifications. Needed agencies are going to have to transfer their power to other individuals. That's going to be held up. So a question will arise, who's in charge here? And a lot of people, both domestically and internationally, might not know at that point. The Biden-Harris transition team launched their official website yesterday. It's called buildbackbetter.com. It lists COVID-19 as the main priority in addition to economic recovery, racial equity, and also climate change. We're live in Boston this morning. Jennifer Egan, WCVB News Center 5.